Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Franbo. And hopefully this is gonna be the final episode of Franbo. I'm very sorry for the long delay on getting to this game. Winter vacation got in the way, but that's no excuse. You guys deserve the entertainment of Franbo's interesting life. And hopefully get finally get to the bottom of why Franbo is having all these hallucinations. So, we just became a human, which is good and all. And I suppose that now that I am a human, things are probably not gonna go so good for me. And they're probably not gonna go so good for me when I get back to the place where everyone else is. I'm just trying to be on the lookout for anything suspicious around here. Because as an impressionable young girl, I wouldn't want to see anything too freaky. I hopefully I actually start to understand why Franbo is. Oh, hi! Everything's fine. You know, I have a lot of questions about that. Number one, the seat full of hands? That's a little weird to me. The doll cat? Is that anything to do with the robo cat I saw in the beginning of the game? And also, why are you crying bud and the skulls and the dress? Weird. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go. Now. We kill the traitors. Because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. Don't mind my voice cracking. Puberty's coming along. As your mommy and daddy did. Who promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who's always by your side. <laughs> now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Oh yeah, you look so happy on your throne of hands with the weird eyeballs that are looking all around. Is that from made from the stolen souls of your victims, me? Let's be so very, very happy together. <laughs> Can't you tell how happy I am by my laughter? Oh. Oh, jeez. Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, it's you. I don't remember your voice either. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally bonkers. You who woo hoo. The doctors were right. Flippity bibbity ba. But you're not crazy. I I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be. Oh, that's right. I mispronunciated things. You should be happy now. You found the Stone Ace and you become a Who Man again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. Oh. Wait, oh, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Except for the fact that I'm totally crazy and just saw myself murdering you. But I'm not going to tell you that, pretty Kitty. Not to your face. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are Alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the poor to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home, eh? Yes, yes, let's do this. Even though it's probably gonna flood this world with monstrosities the likes of which you lovely tree folk have never seen. All right, kitty, let's go on a wonderful adventure of death and destruction. I mean, happiness and other stuff. Where was this gate? Am I supposed to follow him? La dee da dee da then. Flibbity bibbity. Uh, here we are, I, I guess. Just walk off that ledge, you'll be fine. Yes, but where's the door? All right, uh, all right, don't walk off the ledge. Just let me close your eyes. Let me wave my magic wand and then you lock off the ledge. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. All right, here we go. Whatever, doesn't matter to me. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality or whatever. 
Let the human return home, I cry to the heavens and no one in particular. <laughs> oh, wow. We are going home, kitty. Maybe. Oh, hi. How's it going, wizard? Oh, they are the king. Good day to you. I brought the stones so that this lovely creature can go home. It's amazing how we have the same voice, isn't it? Totally a coincidence. Nobody question anything here. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all, although it was stranger the entire time that I was here. I didn't know this place existed, and frankly, I'd like to forget my entire experience here. Then don't leave! You can make a place to stay! A very magical place! <laughs> Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Volacus, Vlacus, Vl glowy thingies, and she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? I'm ready for anything. I probably murdered my parents and might murder my cat. Come on, wizard, place a stone. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? Why won't anyone tell me anything? I'm just a nine-year-old girl. Twelve, I don't know. You know what? Well, you know what the Vlackers told you about facing your truth? Uh, yes, I think I remember. Not really, though. It was a long time ago. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break! Or something! Again, I'm shouting to no one in particular! Threw my jelly beans at the wall, and hopefully that did something. Well, now, time for Fran to be the key, I guess. You were a tree before, why not be a key? You're the only one who can open this now! Oh, wow! Okay! I believe you, I guess! Let me just use my ten year old intellect! Uh, hmm, I'll just eat these jelly beans and hopefully something will happen. Oh, look, guys. Oh, we're all out of magic stones. Uh, oh, I see. It's a poozle. It's one of them poozle things. Okay. I got it. Ho, ho, I got it. Oh, I'm on a roll. Hey, last piece. Whoa. I made a star! I remember doing that in second grade. Boy, I was good at star making. Also, opening portals to other worlds. Uh, I smell victory again! Uh, either that or I'm having a stroke. Maybe. Not sure. You did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited, I think. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. Surely you wouldn't remember the only human walking through this world ever. We won't forget you. You're a very special cranberry. Oh, I almost forgot. Pelagris gave me this uh, for you. Oh, I don't know what the hell it is, but you can have it. Oh, thank you for whatever the hell this is. Tell Pelagris that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll sell him. And don't worry, Palantris is better now. But maybe, I don't know. Oh, oh, before you go, you must know. <laughs> before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are kind of uh, invisible passes between our realities. La la la, things a little girl wouldn't understand. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. I'm not 100% on I've never been there personally. I only hear stories about things that go into there and never return. Unless like a half-eaten torso gets tossed back through that portal to hell thing you're looking at. Whatever. Small details. Oh, yeah, rada, rada, rada. Just run. Run really fast. Run as fast as you can. They're probably slow. And you're telling me this now, huh? That sounds very scary. Good appropriate reaction there, little girl. Hey, don't worry, you'll do cranberry. Hee 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 I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. Meow meow. I, I like you very much. Goodbye. Wee! Into the portal of nightmares, going into the woods to be eaten alive. 
Okay, goodbye, this reality. What the hell happened to Palantris? Oh. Oh! Oh, hi! Oh! Oh! I was p I didn't know I was playing a game! I forgot! Ha ha! Turned into Mario! Ho ho! I'm all hopped up on cranberries, you'll never get me! Even though you're some weird, bizarre, giant, moss-like thing with an obvious penis dangling between your legs, I- You know, something tells me that's not appropriate. Well, I fell and died to my death. Oh god, I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. Whoa. 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 I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna wreck it! Oh, don't mind that the hills are all staring at me! Is this an analogy for the hills have eyes? Is this the hills have eyes 3? Re return of the- Return of the eye patch? I don't know. Ignore I said that joke. Okay. Alright, we made it to the tree door. Chapter 4, part 1, my imaginary friend. But who's my imaginary friend? Oh, that's normal. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh... Is my assumption correct in believing that this is actually just the imaginations of a little girl and actually has nothing to do with anything? My goodness! The door opened! Wow! Interesting! Other exclamatory marks! Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Is Mr. There's Mr. Midnight. Okay, that's not good. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. We were only in there for 14,000 years. Mr. Midnight, look! I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Maybe. Boy, that was a long detour down into the pits of nothingness. Do you remember? The one we tried to cross before we fell into Thirsta? I don't know. It was 14,000. I mean, I remember. Okay. Great, let's keep going, kitty. We have to be careful now. I'm so scared, I'm stuttering. Are these my pills? Wow, but well, where are they going? Boy, I can understand the whole reality of realities, but I can't seem to understand anything else. It's very odd. When we fell into a thirsta, there was no water. Huh, I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Yeah, that's the appropriate logic for a young girl like me. Okay. All right, so someone's luring me with my pills, which I'm home. Oh, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Hang on here. I might be a little girl, but something tells me something ain't perfectly right here. Pills, don't move. Oh, God, pills. Oh, come on. Oh, I just want to go home. Oh. oh, you better not move on me again. Berries? Oh. Kitty wants some berries? Oh, you- Oh! Oh, God! Oh, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal! Ah. I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, Fran. Bad, bad. Oh, no. What should we do now? We're trapped forever and ever. Uh, oh, look at this box! Great! It's got symbols I can't read. Wonder, wonder. Okay. How about the knife? Shing! Ah! 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 Oof! What a long fall. I would have laughed if that sent us. Oh. Oh, hi. Hey, friend. Fran! Oh, hang on. I gotta give this guy a good voice. <coughs> Fran, you're already here. No, that's gonna tear up my voice. Let me try another one. Pran! You're already here! Well, I wasn't expecting you till 235! And, as I said, you're not trapped anymore! Interesting. Anyway, I may introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Oh, sorry. Itward? I don't remember you from somewhere. You seem familiar. Yes! I am the creature of the night. 
we've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Oh, god damn it. Huh? I think I managed quite well to find my own kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. I also was in the window when I closed the door there. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. Goodness gracious, my headphones won't stay on. What did, what did you say about headphones? <laughs> Ignore me! What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They could do nothing but do that. They were together forever. <laughs> they blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Whoa, that's a bit extreme, man. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the long hat? Also, dude, is a top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. You know, back before you could form memories. I came to you after you imagined me. My top hat keeps falling off. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? Wow, what an active imagination I have. I can't deny that. whoop de woo doo I <laughs> believe me, whoop de doo boo I will exist because you exist. The truth is that you are able to imagine me because but I already existed. Don't look into that too much. It makes less sense the more you think about it. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. Ignore my sharp teeth. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Mm, all right. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't have your pills on a string or something like that. Come on now, I have something to tell you. Excuse the long legs, very gangly. Excuse my creepy gait, very suspicious, I know. Ignore my suspicious top hat, there's nothing under it. Ignore the weird death machine behind me. Oh, I mean the itward flying machine. Very deadly. Let's see, can it fly? It's all right, but can it really fly? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> With this gorgeous piece of death, I'll take you to death. I mean, home. <laughs> we'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, <laughs> it's not too very high yet. <laughs> that sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. This one time becomes slower. And that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Once again, don't think about it too much. It's very deadly in the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing on the early limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? I bet you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Wow, it sounds insane, but I understand it. One plus one equals I'm insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, uh, of course not. You can help me by getting water and fireberries. All right, okay. Better to do something than nothing at all. Great, here's my amazing handmade bucket full of water. Also, I piss in it, but not much. I'm a skeleton. Oh, lovely. And the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Oh, all right. I'm having too much fun with them. Well, well the berries aren't quite able to go through without for many hours. Don't ask too many questions about the deadly, deadly fire berries. And if you happen to catch a dry, it's not that big of a deal. So, Oh, Columbus, I see. Okay. All righty then. Oh, 
darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. You would know I lured you with it or something like that. <laughs> details, details. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Yeah. Thank you. Invisible to my eyes? Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. What? What? Amazing! I've, I've never heard- What's a trap? <laughs> okay. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like, in one second. Oh, she's going full teenager on him. Anyway, I'll go get the shit you asked me for. Great! I'll be preparing the death machine! Okay, thank you. Well, what does this pill say about you? Hit blip. Uh-oh. Huh. I wonder if that's an analogy for me to not trust this guy, because probably that's kind of like an idea. Ew, I look completely deformed. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty, fresh flesh. Oh, boy. They're the Kalamas. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay, goodbye. What about the fireberries? What is that? Wow, so much hair and so shiny. Magical world. Okay, so those probably aren't the fireberries. I oh, oh, hey. Hi. How's it going there, friend? Get out, get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Ah, excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think of that? How can you do think that? You have no manners at all. Uh, I'm very sorry. Uh, remaining skeleton and little bits of flesh seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go ground killing creatures. I just give back to the soul what the creatures took in from it and don't need it anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, hi. Ah! Oh, you're cute. Oh, you're tiny and cute and terrifying and horrible. Oh, why did you touch the moose? I don't know. Okay. Of course not. I'm trying to see if I can climb on it to reach the- That's not what I was thinking of when I first clicked on that and hell is that way- You don't know me! I probably shouldn't trust him in the game! Stop it! I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. Oh, okay. But the fireberries are on fire! They're on fire! On fire! You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. <sighs> Thank you, sir, I guess. This lovely help. Oh, no! I didn't mean to go up there! But they're on fire! Oh, God! Can I crayon them out? I can't take the fireberries. They're on fire. Hey, what are you doing back there? Eh, he's just sad. So the sign to hell is pointing. Oh, hi, it's you again. Hello. Are you those shiny insects that get stuck on the trees because of curiosity? Well, usually, yeah. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met one of you long time in my weirdo travels in the forest. Ah, very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, especially when you're in a hellscape of blood and death. No, we're not stuck. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Oh, uh, okay. Good luck with that, I, I guess. So what's down there? Just blood? Hmm. Huh. Alrighty, so I need some water, so I guess I might be able to use some hair. Use on that guy. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? That sounds insane! I need water from the cliff. Blah, blah, blah. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Fill the whole bucket up. Shwip, badoosh. Well, that was rather badooshy. Boy, yoink. Thank you, bucket's now full of water. Take my word for it, and it's not blood. Definitely not blood. Yeah. Blood? Yeah. Gah. But does home belong somewhere? I don't understand the question. I'm nine. I don't understand these deep philosophical rhetorical questions. 
You just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. I don't like that rhetorical question. That's a weird rhetorical question. Sounds mysterious and beautiful and creepy a little bit. I'll try to do that some other time though. Goodbye. All right, bucket full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. Almost as if it's in my imagination. Hey, shut up. It's me. It's me, sir. Can I climb? Please, please, I need the fire berries. They're on fire. Okay, here we go. Hup. Ah, I got it. I can't just pull them off with my hand. They're firmly attached. Well, all right then. Hey, uh, 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 this totally isn't dangerous at all to do for a little girl. Hey, I just cut off these berries. Hey, nothing bad's gonna happen to me. I surely am not gonna fall to my death or maiming. Hey, just cut off berries. Any minute now. Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> totally fine. Oh, what was I worried about? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I'm getting a little loopy. That's what happens when you play this game for too long. You start to see lots of horrible things like that. Oh well. You, you done, dude? Meister? Man? Did you find the fireberries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. I, I got- I got something. I- I got- I, ugh. Negative. Hey. Haha! -ha. Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. <laughs> they will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Okay. How about this bucket of water? Sir Itward, here's the bucket full of water. Also, I remember the name Itward being put on a guy in a basement who was like dead and stuff. Not good. You mean the Lucifer? <laughs> they are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. Bah, they're very dangerous. If you ever see them in the fifth reality, don't even get me started on that one. <laughs> wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet, and I hope I don't go there. <laughs> I don't recommend it. The dragons, it's the worst you'll ever experience. Never blah, 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 go to the fifth reality. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you for whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, friend, it's 234. The journey will begin. Let's go and try the machine. The death machine. For killing. Of death. Very deadly. Cannot overstate the deathiness of the machine. It's deadly. So deadly. I am drooling. Oh, it's a spacey ship. It's 236. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. Maybe I could just spend all time flipping through a book. Why not now? Soon, but why not now? Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. I speak in cryptic messages. And now I'm going to pedal. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. For some reason. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? No, not exactly. You're very stupid for a little girl. I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. Do you understand? The answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how, or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousnessnessness. Okay. Uh, bad news, guys. Doing the shakes is giving me a headache. I know some of you are so eager for that voice to keep going on. But, uh, kind of stirring up the old brain noggin a little bit. Mixing up my words. Not doing good for me. Ah, screw it, I'll keep going. That's the best thing you can hope for, yourself. Be curious, and you'll always be amazed. But now, Ryan, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? 
I'm going to talk a lot more. The machine needs maintenance. Blah, blah, blah. You will not understand it. Just do things will stick them anywhere. Oh, God. I don't care. Put them, do anything. You're a little girl. You can't fly a ship. I've never done this before. Are you gonna talk more? The major motor driving! Have fun! With the best! Oh god, my head. Alright, I'll go now. Thank you. Ow, my head. <laughs> oh man. Woo! My brain is not okay. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Ah! Oh, ew. Oh. Oh. Why did he cut off a foot? Oh. Oh, wow. You know how I picked a voice that wouldn't damage my my voice? That one did. Just a little bit. A little tired. Okay. So... Let's move on now, into another room. Very quietly. Oh, hello. I remember you. Okay, goodbye. So for now, we're gonna go back to a calm, quiet let's play. One that'll be a bit easier on my voice. So we have a chemistry station and some tubing that we need. Pink hose to connect. Blue hose to connect, and one unchecked thing. So we need some AFM, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I probably should not be mixing these like this. Probably very bad. Okay, let's get out of here. So what we need now is an idea. Oh, I see. So we need, this is going to be very difficult, N16, N166 to R15 to 2PF to A18 to AFM, mixing all together to make what? That I do not know. Oh, there's a lot of doodads in here. Maybe perhaps the fireberries. Nope, never mind then. I'll just go into a different room, why don't I? So... The donk. And through. Hello again, I still can't talk to you. You would think that my cat would want to speak with you about something or other. Okay, there's got to be some sort of idea of what I'm supposed to be doing in the other room. Also, this person has... Oh, look, it's a picture of the king. Very interesting. And it seems that Itwards has many other cat friends. Like me. Wait a minute, that's not right. So through here, the door is closed. Maybe Edward can open it later. Okay. Oh, wait, ladder. There we go. That leads to a door, but it's closed. What about the... Here. Oh, well that's not comforting. So there's gotta be a way to open the door up there. So I need to find another way around. Le l'elephone monstrum. Dispone à caléphone. Du étang. Embellique ce Pompon Calfon Imon Imake Pe mon sapon Mon mari Iskay Pofwa Mabe Jimar Agotre Agota Ka Ke Joïs Ke Lava Ignore everything about that. Oh, okay, so water goes in there. Ah. That's a water pump. Here I was thinking it was a fireberry pump. Okay, this makes more sense. Oh no, good thing I have some of this. All right, close that up. Turn that on. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. I like the fire. I, it was sideways. I like to look at the diagram to get that particularly right. So now that that's on, that should be able to heat some water, which is good. Why? Why do I need that? Why in particular do I need that? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Feels like something is missing. Yeah, a key from the keyhole. Well, damn it, all I got is a knife. How about that? It won't work, huh? Well, that's stupid, and you're stupid for being stupid. Is there a way to do this? Maybe there's a secret code or something. I don't know. So, there's that. But, st oh, is that AFM? Aw, oh, but there's a bottle up there. I want me some AFM. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah. Ah, okay. So we put the fire berries inside of that with the fire. And then we should be able- Okay, so AFM was the fire berries. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, so now I can follow the instructions on the wall, supposedly, even though this doesn't seem to be perfectly working correctly. So N16. AFM, A18, 2PF, R15, N166. That's what I thought I put in there. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm such an idiot! Oh, I forgot I had the pills! Oh, I'm such a fool! Okay, I got more tubing. Hello, who are you? Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Okay, that's not very descriptive. What do I need? Alright, some hose with a sort of connector. I know what that goes to. Also, there's eyeballs. What's with the eyeballs? Do you not have eyeballs? And I have many eyeballs? Cause you got eyeballs draped all over the place. I wanna stop saying the word eyeballs now. What about- Oh. Hey, Edward! How you doing? Now your bouncy weird voice makes a lot more sense! <laughs> okay, cool. So what reality am I looking at you? Oh. Hi. Ah, little key. Are you- are you here to kill Edward? Hello? Why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me or whatever. Mm. Okay, so that was fun. Well, anyway, I got a key out of it. I got some hoses. Now I should be able to do what I need to do. Hebebe! Ooh! In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they were both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It was the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they could not understand. They couldn't comprehend. Itward was a friend, a friend till the end. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray, he was ghoulish, he was oh such a fright. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said, but they killed each other instead. Dead and gone, fled and flon, the sisters kept complaining about each other, it, to their own mother. It's all your fault, Clara! It's all your fault, Mara! Then it word came to visit for the last time, and he said, Everything is a rhyme. You are both trapped in the world of disconnections. 
but I'll give you a chance. The world has to been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. And my nose is picking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Well, I don't feel like I learned a lot of life lessons from that. I feel like I'm more haunted than I was when I went into that exercise. In fact, I feel like I'm very dizzy and not feeling good at all. Anyway, let's finish this thing. Now that we actually have all the pieces now. So this dude daddy goes yeah, and this dude daddy goes mm, yeah. Nope. Uh, wait. Let me look at the picture I took on my phone. Baby bobby baby bobby baby bobby. Where is? Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. Baby bobby baby bobby. Boom boom boom. Baby bobby baby bobby. Boom boom boom. Baby bobby baby bobby. Is it working now? Sploosh. Oh! Oh, that would make so much sense! I can click and hold them! That's so much easier. I had no idea. I honestly had no idea. Okay, so that did that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to. Boop -a boop! There we go! I think it's done! Super Chemistry Master Franbo for some reason. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's that then, right? Wow, that took a long ass time. Fran! I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Will you need help? I think I managed myself quite well. I cooked 98% purity crystal meth. You talk to any little girl that can do that, I'll eat my own cat. Okay, never mind. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working. Perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you are afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the other rooms, and I'm... Oh, I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? Uh, I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? A one with horns and killer eyes, you know, potato, potato, murder and not murder. Do you have to see for yourself? It has a pink nose and blue boots. Blue boots. It's just sitting there, no blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time, freaky deaky like. It does sound very scary, sir, but Show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. I'm just a little girl. Seeing is believing for me for some reason. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Clonk, clonk. My bony bones with shoes with human feet on them. Where are we going now? Bing bong, open the door, thank you. All right, let's find this rabbit. Whatever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, it's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? Maybe the rabbit is scared, and that's why it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Okay, you big whiny skeleton baby with sharp teeth and clown alternate reality face. Hello. I'm Fran! See? It's just a f- ah! Okay, this is exactly how Monty Python went. Oh, you're right, Fran. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, betrayal! Oh, boy. Betrayal. 
Hmm, okay. See, I knew something wasn't right here. Oh, I got a carrot! What happens if I give the carrot to Mr. Wabbity? Oh, things not working makes me angry. All right, I got a wrench. Uh, got some light bulbs. Got a paper thingy. Covering up a doodad here. One, Ina! Okay. Aha! Good thing I got exactly what I need for this. Little girl ain't gonna get thwarted by no nuts. I'm the master of my own destiny. The deepest voice little girl in the world. Oh. Given that I'm a master chemist, I can surely figure out these electronics. Oh, a ventilation swirl, I, I guess. Cables. And such a battery holster. My brain sure is stumped, but there seem to be numbers across the room. Hmm. Maybe I got to do something with my brain. Maybe as the world's smartest little girl. Oh, hey. It's the world's smartest little girl sure didn't figure that out quickly. Well, I'll just put this in here. Yeah! Oh boy! I don't know what I did, but it was good, I guess. Oh. Wait, so that bush, that button just pushed other buttons, so I didn't- oh. Hi? I forgot that I was still on my pills. Are you- oh no. Uh oh! Oh god! Oh god, no! Oh no! Oh, mommy, daddy, who did this to you? Oh gosh. That's not okay. Oh, poor little girl. Oh! Can I wash away the blood? That would be nice. Well, oh, I see. There's like a tube for water. Oh, so close. A water symbol. I guess this is connected to something. Maybe. I don't know. Being the world's smartest little girl, I guess I can figure this one out too. Hey, mom and dad. One well, negative, never mind. Okay. So what else could we do? Oh. Oh! Huh. It's locked. Okay, I guess I can go back down. Okay. So, I didn't think that I solved everything, but I did solve the elevator, but there's still the thing. Shank? Shank? Am I supposed to remember these? Because I'm not gonna. Ina! Yes! Oh, I can use the pills down here. Oh! 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 Yenvey! Oh. Orton! Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, it's not very cute. Hey, I was right about the killer eyes. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry. Oh! Oh! Big, big robot rabbit. Oh, what a cutie. What a cutie. That's a cutie. Can I look at that? Shank! Thanks for letting me look at that, I guess. Why did I need to look at these? Shank, say. Orton. Okay, I've looked at all of them, haven't I? I guess. What do I need to do now? Wind. Oh! Ah, it's a puzzle. Right six. Right six, right eight. Left nine. Left eight. Okay, so this is a puzzle for the combination thing upstairs. Eight, five, nine, six, eight. So, eight, five, nine, six, eight, which is right, right, left, right, left. 
So the combination is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, come on! That was totally it! Those totes McScroats it! Ah, there we go! Okay, got it! Yay! Okay, I did it! Good for me! Don't know what that did. Oh, hey! Whoa, hey! <laughs> Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party! Whoa! I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. Oh. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. Yay. So much fun. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you. From all members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings, here you go. I hope you find it educational. Is it a shoe? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to murder your cat. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Schwank. Oh. Well, it's a cat doll. Ooh, here's the thing. I saw a vision of me stabbing something exactly like this, and it didn't go very well. Lots of blood everywhere. So maybe I don't want it. It may give your eyes a new perception. You know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pills or LSD? Is the ultra reality what I see? How many of you guys out there have seen the ultra reality? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Dear God, no. Ugh. Well, I did a bad plan, but never forget that it's not only one truth. Time changes. Everything. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not sure, Thurb. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> that made me the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, Kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow. How exciting. All right, here I go. <sighs> Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. No, no, no. Uh oh. That doesn't seem good. Oh dear. What's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. It sure does, Mr. Kitty. Uh oh. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. Oh, there's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it! Fast! How is it? What, did you murder the rest of them? I knew you were a super murderer. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it will make me hiding from your eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness, Kitty. I'm so scared. Oh. Alrighty then. Me too, Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go! And sadly, with that, I have to end there. I know I said I was going to finish this game all in one, uh, but something actually came up that I have to address, so I won't be able to finish it all right now. Uh, I will get back to this very soon. It'll only be like a day or two before this and the next episode. So, expect it real soon. I will get to the end of this, I promise. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry for being so brief. But thank you again, everybody, for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Something's gonna happen! Was that a person? Oh, my God. Oh, my God.